All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to head into the offseason with our Washington Capitals. And you know, year four, it was it started off pretty bad. You know, we thought we were not going to be um, winning that President's Trophy, and I wanted to, especially after winning the Stanley Cup last year. But we turned it around, but it was a weird season because, you know, looking at the stats, I, I just I didn't like the lack of goals. But we still did win that President's Trophy, so I was hoping that, you know, once the playoffs happened, maybe everyone would turn it around. But uh, that wasn't the case because in the first round, we got matched up against the New Jersey Devils, and they went up 3 nothing against us. And, you know, we started to turn it around. We came back to Game 6. But, I mean, it doesn't matter how good your team is against it, how shitty another team is. Four straight games, I mean, any team you can lose. So, uh, really falling down 3 nothing was our Achilles heel right there. Um, so, I was saying in the last video, you know, we won that Stanley Cup with the Washington Capitals. We did what we wanted to do here. I mean, four years in, you know... Looking at this year, yes, it's a disappointment, but, you know, when you just look at what we've done here in four years, a first-round exit, a second-round exit, a third-round exit, and a Stanley Cup win. It just sucks that the first-round exit comes after the Stanley Cup win because it just, you know, it's like the Boston Bruins or the Chicago Blackhawks, you know what I mean? You want to you wanna get to at least that second round. You want to be at least top eight. I mean, you want to obviously win that Stanley Cup again, but a first-round exit is just, eh. So I was saying in the last video, you know, this is probably going to be the last year a lot of these players players on this team are going to have and uh, I agree after that first round exit I mean uh, it, it's time it's time to change it up not to not necessarily to go into like a full on rebuild you know what I mean I mean we won the president's trophy it was still a successful season you know during the regular season we provided a lot of winning games sold out our arena you know what I mean so we can still be a very good team. I'm not talking about a full-on rebuild because we do have young, a young defensive core, a young goalie that we do have to re-sign this year, Norbert Klein, okay? Uh, but I just think offensively we need to get younger. Guys like Backstrom and Ovechkin, I'm not saying that I want to trade those guys away right now, but, uh, and look at this, your Stanley Cup champions are your Colorado Avalanche. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, um... I'm not saying that Ovechkin and Backstrom have got to go, but other guys like Stashny, Ribeiro, uh, Erickson, and Datsuk, I mean, four players that are on our top six, they can definitely be shipped out. Or maybe at least two or three of them, okay? Uh, yeah, definitely. And I'd like to get some... I'm not going to say... I'd say 20, uh, 21 or 22. I'd say either 21 or 22 is the youngest that I want to go. I don't want to get guys who, you know, 18 years old who are 75 overall, but they have four and a half star gold stars, Johnny. You got to get him. Yeah, he'll be good in two, three years. I want to just, I don't want to rebuild. I want to reload. That's what we want to do right now, okay? So, um... It's going to be a while here. Let's see if uh, Pavel Datsuk retires. That's going to be the main issue here. Pavel Datsuk, I kind of hope he doesn't because, I mean, if he's still high 80s, we can trade him away and get something back for him. And what happens? Okay, so Pavel Datsuk did not retire. We still have him on our team. In fact, we didn't lose anybody, so that's very good. And, uh, yeah, we didn't lose a goalie, obviously. So we still have Pavel Datsuk to trade. Is he going to be worth a lot? I don't know because we didn't really have – he didn't have a point of game season and we did not have a long – uh, playoff run. So age might may have hurt his overall a lot this year. We're gonna have to check it out. So before we get into that, let's check out the awards. All right, stats, awards. Oh, don't want to forget. Oh, what the, what the hell? Don't want to forget about this. There you go. All right, so your Stanley Cup champions are the Colorado Avalanche. All right, that's a weird last four teams, except for the LA Kings. But there you go. A lot of uh, well, not first times, I guess, but you know what I mean. Presidents. Uh, the Washington Capitals, that's what I mean, man. It was a good year this year for the regular season. It's just that first-round exit, ugh, it kills it. The Clarence S. Campbell, Colorado Avalanche, Prince of Wales. So it was Colorado versus Winnipeg. That's an interesting final. Uh, Art Ross, Geno Malkin, Hart Memorial, Geno Malkin, James Norris, Jonathan Blum, uh, Lady Bing, Nathan Gerby, Calder Memorial, Brendan Kuzon, Kozin, I don't know who that guy is, Con Smythe, Michael Neuverth, Vesna Trophy, Jim Reimer, <laughs> William M. Jennings, Jim Reimer, uh, Bill Masterton, Luke Shen, look at all these Leafs, well, not anymore, I guess, uh, Frank J. Selkie, Sidney Crosby, so look at that, Sid the Kid took it away from Pavel Datsuk this year, so that's what I'm saying, maybe Pavel Datsuk has dropped to like an 86, 87 overall, Ted Lindsay, Jim Reimer, man, he, he won a lot this year, and Maurice Richard, he took it away from Ovechkin, Gino Malkin, the other Russian, all right, so there you go, there's the awards, now, we gotta get into this, now, uh, what I want to do is I want to check out the contracts because I don't want to be forced to make a trade here at the draft. Um, I kind of want to 
get to free agency and then make my trades. But if we're going to run into cap problems, then that's when you have to make your trades at the uh, at the draft, right? But if we can sign everybody, then go into free agency, then make our trades, I'd rather do that because then we can take a look who's available in free agencies. You guys can see it. And then we can use our trading block to trade and not just... Um, you know what I mean? Hope for the best and get denied and then have to come back and all that craziness. I'd rather just use the trading block to find the players that I want. Uh, so goaltenders, Norbert Klein, we have to sign him this year. 88 overall. He's going to want north of 5 mil, I'm guessing, right? Maybe even more, maybe even around like six and a half, seven 7 mil. I'm hoping we can steal him for like 5, 5.5 for maybe 4 or 5 years or something like that. Braden Holtby, we can trade, but I'd rather hold on to him free agency and trade him, okay? Uh, Dansk, yeah, 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 and then all these guys. So we do have uh, a lot of good prospects goaltender-wise. A bunch of three-and-a-half star goalies, and we don't need another starter because Klein is 23 years old. So goaltender, we're fine, okay? We don't have to worry about goalies. Uh, defenseman, let's see this. Eric Johnson, yeah, Gardner, they're still for another... Yeah, Johnson's for another year after this. The only defenseman we have to sign this year is Alsner. 85 overall, 4 mil. He might want 4.5. He might want 5 mil this year, okay? But I'll give it to Alsner. He's worth it. I like having a good defensive core. And they're all young. I mean, Carlson, Alsner, Gardner, and Johnson. All younger than 28 years old. All older than 25. So it's a good top 4 uh, core to have together. And look at this guy, Josh Morrissey. He's up to 84 overall now. Let's take a look at his individual stats. All right, his passing puck control, 99. His shot is filthy. It's accurate now. Look at his wrist shot power and accuracy. Holy crap, I should just put this guy on uh, as a forward, basically. Holy crap. Uh, so he's a filthy defenseman. That was a great pickup to... We drafted him eighth overall. What a pickup. Um... All right, so I don't know if he's top four just yet. He's definitely power play, but I like the top four that we already have. So that's what I mean. Defensively, we really don't have to make any trades for our defense. We have a lot of good defensemen and a lot of young defensemen, so we're okay. Oh, excuse me. I'm um, just looking down here. Any of the other guys? No. So the only defenseman we, re uh, we need to sign is Jeff Schultz, who, again, will only want less than three mil, hopefully. If he wants more, we can drop him, find another guy. And uh, Carl Alsner. So we got to sign Alsner, okay? Uh, right wingers, no, there's really nobody, Zabinijad, we got, oh yeah, we have to sign Zabinijad, but he's 79 overall, four star, so we could steal him, hopefully maybe we can get him uh, long term, left wingers, Ovechkin is still 93, Louis Erickson is 85, we have to re-sign Louis Erickson, I mean, he can just drop to free agency, but I'd like to sign him and then trade him, get at least a second round pick out of him, you know what I mean, at least, Glenn Cross is there, uh, so all these guys' salary is going to go, yeah, I think we're going to be fine salary cap-wise. I really do. Because uh, all these guys like uh, Glenn Cross, Chimera, Vermette, I don't feel the need to bring them back anymore because they didn't they didn't do anything for us, you know what I mean? We can save money. Um, Pavel Dots, oh, look at this, he's still 90 overall. So uh, even with the crappy season, all right, he's still 90 overall. So that is good. That is still a trading asset for us. But you can see how he is starting to lose his touch a little bit. His shot is really just average now. All right, that's why, you know what it is? I think if Pavel Dotsuk had a harder shot this year, then we would have had, uh, he would have had more goals. Ovechkin and Backstrom would have had more assists, but he has just like a, a below average shot. 84s, 85s, and 80. That's the reason. Yeah, he can still get assists and he's great defensively, but uh, he's definitely not scoring any goals. So that is definitely a trade asset for us, okay? And at 90, yeah, we'll be able to move him no problem, okay? I'm not saying we'll get a lot back for him, but we'll be able to move him. Now, Backstrom, a lot of you guys were saying that Backstrom, I should move him. Maybe we can move him in the future, but uh, for right now, we need we need a guy like Backstrom. 90 overall, 6.7. I want to try and do something uh, do something to get this guy going. See what I mean? He's got a better shot than Datsuk. He's got good passing. We just, I think I need to find another sniper with Ovechkin. Instead of a, a playmaker like Datsuk, two snipers with uh, Backstrom in the middle. All right? I know you guys keep on saying to put Backstrom in the middle, but... I don't know. Okay, I want to get this guy going, all right? I still do believe in him, but uh, we can trade him later, all right? There's other fish to fry right now, like Paul Stashny, all right? 84 overall, uh, 5.35. This is definitely the year we trade him because if he starts to drop overall, I won't be able to move him with that salary cap, all right? So we definitely got to trade away Paul Stashny this year. And uh, Ribeiro... Ribeiro's dropped to 82 overall. Let's check out his individual stats. He still has 90 for passing, 90 for puck control. Uh, not the greatest shot. 90 for offensive awareness. You know what? If I could re-sign him for like two, two and a half if I have the room, have him on the third line, that wouldn't be horrible. You know what I mean? That would not be horrible. That could maybe give us some depth scoring. Uh, Carlson, we got to re-sign. Vermette, we don't have to if I don't want to. Shifley, we got to re-sign. And they're both still pretty... Uh, 
like low 80s, high 70s, so we can get them long term maybe. Fisher, we don't need to re-sign. Tory Mitchell, the, all these guys we don't need to sign to get uh, salary. So, you know what I think? Let me see. It's just Klein, Alsner, and uh, Erickson, right? How much salary cap are we going to have? We're going to have 33 mil. You know what I'm going to do? Because I don't want to make any hasty trades without seeing uh, what's available in free agency. And I want you guys to see what's available. Um, let's not make any trades for the draft here, okay? Let's just go into the draft. We will draft our players. And let me just check out who's available. And then we will sign our players. We will have enough money. And then free agency, we will make our trades in the offseason, okay? I don't want to rush any trades right now. So this guy, Robinson Yashin, he's going first overall. It looks like defensive defenseman, six foot four. Wouldn't be bad to get, but we don't need a defenseman, okay? So I'm not going to be moving up. And goaltenders, oh, he may, uh, either the goalie or the defenseman may go first. This guy, Cody Gardner, he looks like he's going to go either first or second overall as well, okay? So um, I don't really feel the need to move up in the draft at all. Let's just use our draft picks, uh, draft some uh, depth. We are going to get young players with the players that we trade away. That's how we're going to reload, okay? Again, we're not rebuilding. We are reloading. That's the whole thing. So our draft pick is 26th overall. All right, I'm just going to use it. Uh, hang on a sec. I'm not going to make any trades. Let's just skip up to here. Let's just grab a three and a half star player if there are any. This uh, Terrence Ritchie guy. Uh, power forward, center, six foot five. Hell yeah, I'll grab that guy. Terrence Ritchie. All right, welcome to the Washington Capitals. That's what I mean. I'm just going to use my draft picks. We'll, we will just bolster our team either with players that we can trade or uh, guys that can fill up the third or fourth line for us of the future, okay? Uh, let's see if I can get another three and a half star player. If I can't, then I'm just going to go auto draft. All right, I can't get any more, so we'll just uh, uh, another power forward, left wing American. We'll get two uh, American power forwards in our first two picks, and the rest auto draft because the rest are all three star players. All right, they're not going to make the team anyways. All right, so we got uh, two players there in the drafts. And uh, well, actually, well, only really one player. That guy was the same as anyone else. So we only got really one player there from the draft, but that's okay because. Trust me, when we trade away Stashny, uh, Erickson, and Datsuk, we will get at least two super studs back, all right? At least two. Maybe not super duper studs, but uh, I want to get what I what I had in mind here for Washington. We don't need defensemen, all right? Josh Morrissey is our young defenseman who is going to be pushing for the top four. We don't need defensemen. We don't need goalie. We need forwards. I'm thinking what Washington needs. I know Backstrom is that center, but I would like to get a young... 21, 22, 23-year-old center who's already like 84, 85 overall with four and a half star potential. You know what I mean? That's what I love to get with a great face-off rating. But maybe, again, that right winger who's a sniper and maybe have Ovechkin, Backstrom, and then another guy who's got like 90s uh, for shooting. I mean, look at Ovechkin's shot. I just want to show you guys. See, oh, uh, that's why Ovechkin gets a lot of goals. His slap shot accuracy, 95. Slap shot power, 90, 95, 95. I mean, you compare that to Dotsuk's who was like 80, 84, 85, 87. That's why uh, Ovi gets all the goals and uh, Datsuk wasn't, right? Now, Backstrom, he's got an okay shot, right? Uh, let me just show you guys this. Backstrom's got an okay shot, 87, 87, 90, 89, right? But he's not going to be lighting it, lighting it up. You need somebody with like 91, 92 shot in like every category. And I mean, you look at uh, Datsuk, that's why I think that first line is not getting any goals. I mean, maybe, like, I'm thinking, you know, Ovechkin should be able to get it and like they're good enough but man I think we need another sniper either a center sniper or a right wing sniper I don't know I'm just floating ideas out there right now okay but uh, let's try to get all these guys signed up right now